There are many times while watching this series, I couldn't help but wonder the kind of stuff our police officers do in the name of justice. Now I guess how the ED must be operating. Anyway, let's talk about all five series of Line of Duty. Officer of the Year, Detective Chief Inspector Anthony Gates. DCI Gates is the best detective in this city. Whoa! DCI Gates appears to be an exemplary officer. Appears to be. The cop where he is because he had to be twice as good as the next player. What? So what do you say? To be corrupt, he's got to be twice as bad? He's a good man. You remember that. Nobody plays me. I push him from the outside, you push from the inside. He'll crack. Take a shot at the king. Make sure you kill him, son. Line of Duty is a UK based police drama thriller investigation show created by Jed Mercurio with Martin Crompton, Vicky McLeod, and Adrian Dunbar in the lead roles. Forgive me if I am saying any of these names wrong. These guys are in the SG 12, the anti corruption unit of the police. They are the guys who investigate the characters of a suspicious police officer and see if the police officer is corrupt. If they find something to be suspicious, they bring the accuser in for questioning and make a case if they get confirmation of any foul play. The first series was primarily about how this SC-12 team formed and how they operate. It's the second series, however, which killed people, which ultimately enhances the experience. I've almost forgot to mention, it's a very short series. Each season has only six episodes, except for the first one, which has only five episodes. That was also one reason for which it felt like bam bam bam, unlike some other shows where you beg it to over or feel the drag in the story. In this murder, it's not a question of if he did it, it's why. I've seen enough bent coppers in my time to know when one of them is hiding something. For the first time in Australia, Tell us what really happened. An explosive six-part series. The easiest way to get away with killing someone, be a police officer. Line of Duty, the new season returns Wednesday, April 6th on 13th Street. This other point was actually in the negative side of my list, but I had to switch it to the positive side, the production. The budget for the show was not very high in the first series. It doesn't necessarily make it feel cheap, but it is very noticeable. The reason because of which I had to switch it to my positive was, it gets better. I don't know much about the UK television industry, but I think BBC One has a wider reach than BBC Two. Anyway, it is actually evident in the average viewership numbers. The series 1, 2 and 3 were on the BBC Two network, with the highest viewership of about 5.42 million. But after the BBC One picked it up, and the average viewership of the last series which was series 5 was about 12.86 million and of course that also got translated into higher production value so i can't blame the showrunner for that the reason they got picked up was because of their good storytelling and because of some fine actors the show mostly has its moments i mean it has some nail biting scenes and some scenes that are just quiet don't get me wrong the quiet scenes are not fillers per se but they are to the characters. It builds layers. It helps you to understand where they are coming from in the latter scene. But when things go down, it is on, my friend. The most intense and nail biting moments for me in the entire series weren't the action scenes. Not that they weren't great, but actually what comes after an action scene. The forensic team, the investigation agency, trying to find out what really happened. Some of my best moments in the show were these interview scenes which reminded me of Mindhunter. To be clear, this series is nothing similar to Mindhunter, but it's those interviews which reminded me of Mindhunter. You should totally watch that too, if you haven't yet. There are a very few negatives in the entire 5 series length. Some of the side characters were one-dimensional and some of the storylines were never had a conclusion. But who knows, maybe they will bring them back for the next series. I am hopeful that we get to see some of those storylines to reappear. 
the show is also fairly good at continuing the same story while not feeling like being forced let's go let's go come on. job done they nice swear that what do we got this is a chance to crack the highest level corrupt officers and the top man whatever it takes i'm in line of duty on bbc1 because there are many series out there where you start watching a storyline in the first season and in the next season when something else will happen because of what happened in the first season and you go like there is no possible way that this can happen because of that although it also happened a tiny bit with this series also it doesn't feel like that for which the showrunner and the actors has to be praised in the end what else i can say the line of duty is a good show it's enjoyable relatively small and very bingeable there are many things that i liked about the show and although there are some issues i wasn't too bothered about them if you were someone who likes detective fact finding investigation and interview drama shows then you should totally give it a shot is that even a thing interview drama anyways you understood me right so what are some other good tv series like line of duty that i should check out also what are your favorite detective series comment below to let us know or you can also reach out to us in our social media handles the links are in the description given below thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next one